Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a quick game with the top-down template. So as you can see, we have the top-down template here. It works. And let's just go ahead and let's try and make a simple and quick game. Well, this is actually quite easy to do. And let's make a game where we simply just collect a bunch of different cubes all over the place. So let's go ahead and let's add in that cube. So we're basically going to make an actor here and we'll call this collectible cube and let's hop in here and let's add in a cube and maybe let's scale this down to 0.15 right and then make sure that both of these are uh, selected here uh, so let's go ahead and 0.15 just like that and let's make it gold because everyone likes collecting gold. Why not, right? So we got this nice little gold cube here. And let's save it. And let's simply just drag one out here. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's kind of take a look here. And yeah, all right, that's maybe a bit too small. So let's go ahead and hop back in here. Click on the cube and make it point. Let's make it point three, three. Right, and then, yeah, that looks a lot better. So if we play that here and move up here, yeah, okay, so that looks pretty good. We might change it uh, to uh, something a little bit later there. But let's go ahead and let's add in the collision, and we're going to say uh, overlap all. Okay, and that way, you know, we can kind of go ahead and run through it here, but we can go make uh, something uh, a little bit more, uh, uh, well, we can make it so that we can, get, we can actually collect it. Let's go ahead, let's add in a point light. And that's pretty good. Let's uh, kind of drag that in here. Uh, the attenuation radius is we're going to make it fairly small. The intensity is going to be a little bit higher. And we're going to make it a nice golden uh, orange color. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of make it... Gold is always really hard, but something like that here. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's compile... And yeah, I think that looks good. Let's move this over quickly so that we can kind of see where it is, right? So we can kind of see that here. And sure enough, this gold thing will um, will absolutely work. And I think that that's actually pretty good. Um, let's move that in here. Okay, we can kind of move it up and down. Okay, good. So all that is working pretty good. Let's go ahead. Let's hop into the top down blueprints here and let's open up our top down character. Okay, let's go ahead, let's add in a variable here. Now, actually, do we need to make the top down character or do we want to add into the game mode? I think the game mode's a little bit better. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to call this total cubes collected. Okay, and then we're going to make sure that, that that's an integer. Okay, just because we want it to be a positive or negative whole number. And there we go. So that way we can go and add that in here. So let's hop back into the collectible cube and let's go into um, let's go in to, um, into the event graph here. And we're going to uh, begin overlap uh, and we're going to say uh, top down character, top down character. So if, if we can collide with a top-down character, um, we are going to destroy actor. Okay, and there we go. And I believe there we go. And that looks pretty good. Um, okay, let's go ahead. Let's add an event destroy. So when it's destroyed, we are going to uh, spawn actor from class. And that actor is going to be the explosion. There we go. And where are we going to spawn it here? We're going to drag out the cube. We're going to get location. Not socket location, just 
location get world location and we're just going to drag that in here and don't worry about the conversion all right so we move it here perfect <laughs> okay i think that looks pretty fun all right so there we go it explodes when uh, you get destroyed here but we also need to uh, add in another item here so we're going to cast to game mode and we're going to get game mode and as the game mode we're going to set um, cube what did I call it here uh, total cubes collected let's hop back into here and we have to actually cast to top down game mode okay very important get game mode right and then we're gonna um, set total cubes collected okay <clears throat> let's make sure that this is over here and we're gonna say uh, total get total cubes collected we're gonna add integer and we're gonna add one to the total cubes collected all right and then while we're here uh, let's go ahead and let's print string here and let's just print out the number of cubes collected so right now we go ahead and sure enough we see a nice looking one there and I think that is looking pretty good okay so now that we have um, all that here I actually actually will keep this here just for debug purposes for now okay so that's kind of part one of this um, we'll continue in the next video and go to part two see you then